Hello everyone, uh, thanks for attending the session. Uh, my name is uh, Julien Orsinger. I'm a power electronics engineer at Imperix, uh, working mainly on power applications for uh, internal and customer developments, and also working on uh, sales related activities. In this presentation, I will give you a quick overview of uh, Imperix solutions for uh, quick and easy prototyping of power electronics converters. A few words about our company to start with. So we are a small company of uh, 15 people located in Switzerland. Our customers are both universities, so academics working in power electronics labs uh, or in power systems in, in general, and also R&D department of uh, industrial companies. As I said, uh, Imperix markets prototyping solutions for power electronics and our equipment is designed to accelerate experimental activities of uh, our customers and in particular the, the design and validation of control algorithms for power electronics. Uh, so if we start from this basic example here of a three-phase inverter, uh, what the customer wants to achieve is to build a test bench to test and validate his uh, control strategy. Uh, so what he needs actually is a, is a programmable inverter. Uh, and what we provide for him as a solution uh, is a complete portfolio of products uh, with a de dedicated controller, the B-Box, uh, and its associated software different power modules to build the, the converter itself and a set of accessories such as uh, sensors or passive components. The design and validation of converter control is uh, most of the time relying on a multi-step process with a PC-based PC simulation, uh, HIL hardware in the loop simulation and finally prototyping. Uh, so these steps, they, they provide a gradually increasing uh, degree of realism. Uh, as you would guess from the introduction, our solutions mainly focus on the prototyping phase. Uh, but thanks to their versatility, our products uh, also help to speed up the development in the previous steps. Uh, in particular, they allow an easy transition between the steps. Uh, as an example, our B-Box controller uh, can be used in both HIL simulation and real power scenarios. So it's able to control both an HIL simulator and a real converter. Uh, and in the end, the transition between the two, uh, it all comes down to rewiring a few cables. Uh, so that's the idea behind this bundle that we have developed uh, with uh, Opal RT, in partnership with Opal RT. Uh, it's really meant to be a bridge between uh, HIL simulation and real experiment, uh, real power experiments. Uh, and it even allows to switch back and forth between the two worlds and, and really benefit from, from the advantages of both of them. Uh, an obvious benefit of uh, HIL simulation is its uh, ability to simulate situations that are hard to, to create in practice, uh, for instance, fault conditions. And in that sense, it's a, it's a nice complement to our product lineup. Uh, on the other hand, uh, our Imperix products are, are specifically designed to facilitate power electronics prototyping and the safe real power experiments. Uh, so in many cases, customers even choose to step directly from uh, PC simulation to prototyping at the lab. With our product, they, they can build uh, and operate a large variety of power electronic test benches, uh, ranging from simple three-phase inverters that we saw uh, at the beginning, uh, to more complex systems like uh, an MMC, multi, modular multi-level converters, or uh, multi-port DC-DC converters, to, to name only a few. To tell you more about it, um, I will quickly go through these three customer stories uh, and give you a bit of context. Uh, so the first one here is a setup that we built for the University of Cagliari. Uh, it's based on a triple active bridge topology to interconnect various sources and loads. Uh, the targeted application here is a fast car charger uh, with intermediary energy storage. And even with the ability to work in the other direction with the vehicle to grid mode. Uh, as far as we know, they are even um, working with multiple teams on, on this setup, uh, with some people focusing on uh, the control itself of, of the 
various converters and some other people working on a higher level energy management uh, strategy. So that's typically uh, an example of the various purposes that uh, our products uh, can address. Another example is uh, this motor drive uh, that we built for a KTM, uh, an industrial uh, customer. Uh, what's special about this case is uh, that uh, it's the high current rating that was uh, required. Uh, so it required to, to parallel several standard modules. Actually, each rack that you see here on, on, the, on the screen is, uh, is a rack that we customized for them, and it's one phase of uh, the motor drive. So that's another example of how our standard products uh, can serve to build a tailored system uh, with a little bit of customization. So these two first examples were systems that we assembled completely before shipping, uh, but customers can also uh, order off-the-shelf products and assemble them themselves. Uh, that, was, uh, that was the case here, for instance, at the University of uh, Alberta, uh, where they built a modular multi-level converter based on our products, and uh, they managed to uh, validate their uh, MMC control strategy experimentally. Now, how do we build these systems, uh, we or our customers? Uh, on the power side, we use a modular approach. So uh, we market different types of elementary power modules. Typically, one power module is a half bridge with two switches. And connecting three of them makes a three-phase inverter, as an example. Uh, the main advantage of this approach is that almost any converter topology can be uh, built very easily by just assembling power modules as, uh, as Lego bricks. Another advantage of, uh, of that approach is that the converter topology is not fixed, uh, so the modules can be easily rearranged at any time uh, and they can therefore be used also among different projects. Uh, the simplicity of the power module topology does not come at the expense of performance or usability. Uh, for instance, our uh, silicon carbide module can switch at up to 200 kilohertz, and it's, the, it's therefore suited for uh, the most demanding applications. Uh, each module also has embedded sensors and can therefore be used uh, straight out of the box uh, in combination with the, our controller. Speaking of controller, uh, we also use a modular approach on the control side. Our controller, the B-Box, can be used as a single unit or in stacked configuration, where the converter requires more uh, input-outputs. Uh, in this case, the different units are natively synchronized and they work seamlessly together as one big controller. Uh, in larger systems, like uh, for instance, multi-converter microgrid setups, uh, the different controllers can also uh, be connected to share a large amount of data with, uh, with very short latency. Um, and this allows a distributed control strategy over the whole uh, converter, the whole network of converters. In terms of uh, performance, the B-Box can run very fast CPU control loops above 250 kilohertz closed loop control. Uh, and combined with the high PWM resolution, uh, the B-Box can easily control uh, fast switching converters, uh, even the newest wideband gap semiconductors. So that's, uh, that's a new overview of what tool we use to build our uh, reconfigurable and programmable power converters. Uh, not now, what are the, the benefits uh, that you get from working with, uh, with our products? So the first one is uh, fast programming. A prototyping solution has to provide a fast way of programming the control algorithms onto the controller. And as I said in the beginning, our customers mainly uh, use our system to test and validate uh, control algorithms. So we need to provide them with a way of doing it uh, really easily and rapidly. Uh, to that end, most of our customers, they choose the graphical approach uh, to develop their control algorithms. Uh, so we provide them with the Simulink and Plex libraries. Uh, with these libraries, you can do two things. You can uh, run an offline simulation of the control model and the plant model. But from the same file, you can also automatically generate the control code uh, for the real-time controller. So programming in the end is really easy and it, it doesn't require any special programming skills. 
finally, to help our customer go even faster, uh, we provide an extensive list of uh, application examples available online on our, on our knowledge base. Uh, and for each of them, we provide the control files uh, so the customer can use them as a, as a starting point for all their own developments. The second benefit is an easy setup implementation uh, because our customers don't want to spend time in the lab uh, in the tedious development of, of power hardware. Uh, so to that end, we, we use a modular approach as we've already seen and our power modules are directly plug and play compatible with the controller. Uh, so in the end, building a, a power converter comes down to assembling uh, elementary building blocks, uh, which is fast and easy to do. Uh, as a service, we can also offer a complete wiring of the system. So uh, it's uh, ready to, to use from day one. Uh, and, and that's typically also uh, something that our customers uh, ask for. Lastly, and maybe most importantly, uh, our customers want to be safe when operating an energized system. Uh, that's why we provide uh, two layers of protections. Uh, the first one is at the controller level, where we uh, provide configurable thresholds uh, that ensure that the converter is, is always within a safe operating range. Um, and the second level of protection is at the power module level, uh, which embeds a supervision chip that stops the converter from uh, from working if the module capabilities are exceeded. Uh, finally, the customer also has access to numerous uh, product notes on our knowledge base um, with be best practice instructions for uh, for safe operation of the system. Uh, speaking of uh, the knowledge base, it's available online at imperixcom doc. Uh, and the numerous examples can be used as uh, useful starting points for uh, your own developments. Uh, so let's say you choose your favorite application, for example, the control of a dual active bridge converter. Uh, from there, you can run a realistic simulation of the system. Uh, this typically allows you to test and tune the control algorithm offline. And then after building an experimental setup with our power modules, the controller runtime code can be automatically generated from the same Simulink model. And finally, you can operate the converter using a small utility software to interact with the controller in real time and uh, export your experimental results. This utility software is called Cockpit. Uh, you can see here its interface. It allows you to connect to the controller, display all your internal variables. Uh, you can scope them in that view that works like uh, an oscilloscope. You can also change your set points. Here I'm applying different steps in the current reference. And then you can export the scope as a CSV file or in a MATLAB figure for easy integration into your report or publications. So that's all I wanted to present today. I uh, hope you now know a bit more about Imperix solutions and how we and our customer build tailored system from standard products to accelerate their prototyping activities. And also how we help our customer going even faster thanks to our knowledge base articles and also our continuous support. So thanks very much for attending the keynote. Many thanks to the organizers for holding the event. Uh, we're glad that we can support the event as a, as a silver sponsor. Uh, don't hesitate to visit our uh, virtual booth in the Exhibitor Hall. And also, if you are interested, please visit our website, imperix.com, uh, where you can find all our products with their prices. Uh, you can also easily generate a quick quotation in a few clicks. So thanks very much, uh, and I wish you all a very good conference. Bye-bye.